US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo called for a thorough and open probe by Washington's ally Saudi Arabia into the disappearance of journalist and Riyadh critic Jamal Khashoggi. He added that he called on for investigation of Mr. Khashoggi's disappearance and to be transparent about the result. US president expressed concern about the fate of the prominent Saudi journalist and regime critic Jamal Khashoggi who vanished after entering the Saudi consulate in Istanbul last week. President Donald Trump said that he was apologizing on behalf of the whole country to his new conservative Supreme Court justice after one of the most contentious confirmation processes in US history. US President Donald Trump asked a federal judge on Monday to dismiss adult film actress Tommy Daniels' lawsuit challenging the validity of $1,30,000 hush money agreement over the tariffs she claimed they had more than a decade ago. The United States accused Tehran of having unclean hands as it fought an Iranian court bid to unfreeze billion of dollar earmarked by Washington for terror victims. The Canadian forces are explaining a dramatic increase in the number of sexual assault reported last year as proof that efforts to crack down on such illicit behavior in the military are having a positive impact and not that there have been more actual crimes. Irving Oil said that all their employees and contractors have been accounted for after a massive oil refinery explosion that shook the historic port city and sent flames and plumes of black smoke into the air. While Canadian member of so-called Islamic State has been caught while attempting return to Canada, Mohammad Ali, 28 years old, who left Toronto in 2014 to join ISIS, was captured by Kurdish forces as he tried to flee from Syria to Turkey. <laughs> Toronto police have released a photo of Clark Sisson, 67, of Toronto, who was found dead behind a Riverside library. Police responded to a call at 7:40 a.m. about a body laying behind a Rev Thornton Community Centre near Quinn and Salter's STS. The cause of the death is not known at this time. Two teens are in custody following a stolen vehicle incident in St. John's neighborhood early morning. Police spotted a vehicle matching a description of a stolen SUV. The vehicle was tracked by police from the Air One helicopter. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can get latest videos and this is absolutely free.